Welcome back to the Team Venture Center podcast, your local Richlands podcast, but life locally, nationally, and everything in between. Do you have that memorized? Yes. That's crazy. I'm Mackenzie. I'm MJ. Dakota Davis. And I'm Ryan. Woohoo! We back. Yep, they do. All it's right. It's been a while since I've been on a podcast. I know. I know. They didn't do them for like a few months, I think. Yeah. yeah. They stopped them. But today we're doing Would You Rather questions. And I already have one that I have. I have a strong opinion about this, so I'm curious what you guys are going to say. Would you rather have telekinesis, which is the ability to move things with your mind, or telepathy to be able to read other people's minds? Oh, telepathy. Telekinesis, honestly. Okay, so your telepathy, telekinesis, what's yours? Telekinesis. Telekinesis? You two are right. Why would you ever want to know what people are thinking about you? That's just a route to be depressed forever. (laughs) (laughs) See, okay. I don't know why, but I like to know who's toxic and who's not. So if I can read people's minds and I can know what they think about me, I'll know, hey, I need to cut that person out. I also agree that that would be helpful, but I feel like the damage that you would get from here, because I think we can all agree that the thoughts that we have about people in our heads should never see the light of day, about everyone. Can we all agree? Am I insane or... No, mm, 50-50. 50-50? 50-50. There's a few people I, I despise. Well, to be fair, I think, like, telekinesis is, like, a good all-around ability to have, because, one, you can do, like, so many things with it. It's, it's going to make your life Break easier. your teachers. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and your uh, p- peers, I guess, too. But honestly, I feel like telekinesis is just better, better ability to have. Yeah. So. Also, telekinesis is sick. I was actually talking today. I wish I could just look at my laptop and it would just close itself in the way the cable could wrap itself up and it just fly into my book bag. It'd be so nice. I also feel that, like, with telepathy, though, it, if you got used to it enough, you could start to tone out what other people think. If you had it for long enough, you could tone others out. That's interesting. So what are the rules? Are you always hearing other people's thoughts? Or can you choose? I feel like it'd be with, like, telekinesis. You could be able to, like, use it when you want, but also not. Also, you can also use telekinesis if you're, like, really advanced with it. You can just fly with it. You could. I never even thought of that. That's actually so smart. Yeah. Use your body mass. Like, use your telekinesis to lift up your body and just, like, make yourself, like, featherless, I guess. Basically, yeah. if it wasn't Superman, already clear, no, eh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if it wasn't already clear, I'm very much a telekinesis uh, believer. I I think it'd be sick to be able to just move things around, but I I can see where you're coming from. I've never had somebody have a good argument for that. So, mm-hmm. Mackenzie, why do you want um, telekinesis? telekinesis to move stuff around? <laughs> to move stuff that's, around. That's, 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 that's the best one. Yeah, that's the that's the that's, that's a good reason why. I guess. Okay, I have a question. Oh, you got one. Would you rather live the rest of your life without your TV or your phone? TV. TV. Easy. TV, because you, you can, can practically... watch TV on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Also, iPad. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I, I want to live on my TV. Yeah, laptop. I don't watch TV, so just my phone. Okay, wait, I have a question, follow-up question. Would I be allowed to plug my computer into my TV, or are we just talking about, like, watching the TV itself? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't think that far into it. Because I could just plug my laptop into my TV and then get, like, a wireless keyboard and just watch Netflix like that. Yeah. I mean, you can also just watch Netflix on your phone. Would you rather, yeah, that. Would you rather be able to teleport or have super speed? Teleport. 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 Absolutely. I agree. Teleport. You know why? Super speed is just going to be miserable. Because gas is expensive. <laughs> but, oh, if you had super you, speed, you'd yeah, run everywhere. Yeah, super, super speed as in, like, running. Oh. But then, like, if you had super speed, you have super thinking, so everything, like, you, everything's moving. I already slowly. have that. I I have ADHD. That's already a constant thing in my head. Same, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Same. I've never heard it described as super thinking, but that's so accurate. That's so funny. <laughs> when you think, like, 50,000 different thoughts at once, and they're all, like, screaming over each other. No, yeah. ADHD. <laughs> I'm gonna, poo I'm going to start telling people I have super thinking. <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay, well, uh, that was an easy, easy, everybody agreed. Right. Ooh, this is a good one. Would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? Jail for five jail. years. Really? Coma. Yeah. I mean, I would die probably in jail, but <laughs> at least I won't have a chance of, like, living in, I don't know. I don't want to be in a, in a vegetative oh. state when I'm in a coma, so I just rather... I choose coma. I might get Okay. Li- <laughs> I might get <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 but my way of thinking for this is, if you have, 
if you if you like enter a coma, you already have an idea of like what would happen if you died, because it's practically just dying for a little bit and then coming back. It's just like an I mean, eternal slumber. So if you already have experienced the coma, I feel like it would be easier for you to accept the fact if you got like really bad news and they said you were dying. Like, hey, I've already been in a coma. Okay, <laughs> death is okay, I guess. Yeah. In jail, I feel like if you have good RNG or something, like, just good luck, not have a skill issue, you can live and you can survive your five so, years. Did you say in jail or coma? You said jail, jail, right? Yeah. You did have a good point. I also think a coma would be better, but you did bring up a good point. People have been in comas before, and they were still aware of their surroundings. They just couldn't move. That's the cool thing about it, because, like, imagine if you're in a coma, right, and you're still aware of everything, but it'd be like... One of those times where you have that one friend or that one family member that hates your guts and they think you don't know or you're not aware and they just start slipping up and saying stuff to you. <laughs> you can just wake up when you wake up and be like, hey, you said all this. I heard it. Get out. That's I heard of, you. <laughs> that's kind of scary, though, to be in a coma and, like, you can't move, but you, you're, like, you're aware of your surroundings. Like, Got sleep it. paralysis on no level. I already have sleep paralysis. It's okay. Thank you guys for tuning in to this week's episode. Sorry for it being a short episode. Hopefully, it'll be a longer one next week. Speaking of, make sure to tune in next week for our next episode, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.